Ooh, baby. I love how this looks, guys. That is the beginning of something. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Arc Aberration on the Geeks Patreon server. I am Unite the Clans, and uh, this is a new series we got started on the Patreon community. And uh, in the first episode, I built this magnificent place. Hey, you guys would have got that on Monday. And then on the live stream on the weekend, actually Saturday, before you saw the house build, uh, we did a little live stream where we worked on a silo, uh, among other things. And we also worked on a paint job for the house, but I did not come up with a whole lot of great options. Uh, so if you guys are, are house painters in ARC, if you don't just leave everything unpainted, this is a great little technique. I stole this from Minecraft. When I would start building in Minecraft, I would lay out all the blocks I wanted to use in a color palette. And when it comes to seeing sort of the color palette of, of how things go together, it's really interesting because like this green is not the same as this green. And that red up there is not the same as this red. And if you put red on stone, it really looks pink. And if you put the brick on stone, which makes which makes the wood look nice and red, the stone goes all kind of like muddy, dried blood brown. It's gross. So I've been working out a paint scheme. This used to be all stone. And I think our new paint scheme... <clears throat> God dang earthquakes. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. Thank God it's over. Alright, so the final decision we came to was red. And to replace a lot of these stone walls with inside out wood. And I think that is a technique that is going to serve us well today. I'm going to keep making myself a little platform to get around here. I painted the lower ones already. Uh, and this silo was made uh, with Structures Plus. You're going to be seeing a bit more of that in this series. It lets us build cool shapes like this, which is actually a little hexagon, believe it or not. And we just got to keep slapping paint and we'll back up and see how this place looks. And if it looks good, I'll go put this paint on the house as well. Um, I've already started. I just, we did a different paint scheme originally that involved brown and painting these vertical wooden bits so in the end I'm gonna have to come through and do this and just sort of uh, put back a lot of the bits that we originally had in there uh, just to sort of remove the paint there is a thing called soap I think that lets you remove uh, remove paint from builds or from building pieces but um, because we're playing with structures plus whoops I wonder Oh, I see why. Uh, because we're playing with Structures Plus, and I have the ability to pick everything back up, let's go ahead and do that for us. Uh, it's really no issue. I mean, I can just pick it up, slap it back. There you go. Paint scheme's gone. That's easier than bothering around with soap. Uh, so let's get around here. We'll slap the last little bit of paint on, and we'll take a look, and you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, the other option, whoops, was that forest green. But the forest green, I couldn't find it. I didn't like the stone colors that went well with the forest green. And I think I've been all the way around. Let's go one here. Boom. Yes, I've been all the way around. Okay, so let's hop down. Let's use the old S plus demolition gun. Pick all these pieces back up. It just improves building so much, guys. I know I got a little frustrated. What will you snap to? Good Lord. I know I got a little frustrated during our live stream this week trying to build, but it's all good. It's all good. I think that's a good look for us, guys. Uh, so I'm going to work my way up the house. I mean, you can use the climbing picks, uh, or you can use uh, the, uh, the this sloppy little homemade method I came up with for getting up there. Uh, because we have S plus in the half walls, I can snap right here. I can hop up here. I think this one's getting in the way. Uh, but then I can hop up here. Whoops, no I can't. Sh show some skill, son. Perfect. And the other option I should show you was replacing these. Oh! I'm putting them inside out. I forgot about that step. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to have to repair the damage I just did. Uh, but this will hold things in place. Boom. Okay. So I'll take you out and then we'll see uh, how you want to snap. Boom. Let's go back to this. And boom. Perfect. And I'm going to, like I said, have to replace those little bits that broke down. The, one of the tricks with this build, if you did watch the tutorial, is that parts of it are vanilla. So I built with uh, Structures Plus, but if I go uh, and try and build this roof using all S plus sloped roofs, it's not going to work for me. So what I need to do, make one of these and make a sloped, regular sloped wall right. And we'll craft that, and I think this should repair our issue. We'll see. Go ahead and put you right there. Go ahead and put this ceiling are right there. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that means we can continue the paint job. I don't know, guys. I feel like it, it, when it goes onto this house, 
it's going to look good. I guess these pieces down here are going to have to be taken out too. So they had a paint scheme that involved brick and so these can come out no problem. Um, the only re issue that was causing is that's vanilla, that's vanilla, and the sloped walls that run along this section of the house, those are vanilla as well. Um, but the walls, those are easy switch. So let's go ahead and put those back in. And we'll back up and we'll just take a look and see how this paint scheme is treating us. I think it's going to do this house well. I think it's going to look good at the end of the process. So I'm, I'm clearly not quite done. But, I mean, I think that's going to be a way to go for us. I think I'm going to do the red on the main bulk of the house. I think I'm going to leave the little bits of wood trim unpainted or paint them brown to match these. That might be mud. I think I'll, I think I'll leave them unpainted. I think I'll leave them unpainted and maybe I'll paint the deck uh, bits in brown. And I'll just leave those uh, in that, that darkish brown. And I'll go paint all the bits of this house in red. So, for those of you that missed it, this is the house we built. Go back, check out Geeks Episode 1. Boom. Farmhouse. So I have a little bit of work to do to get the new paint scheme on here. I'm going to make that one of my goals for the day, and I'll see what kind of adventure we can get ourselves into after that, geeks. Be back in your life in a moment. I don't think we will be needing this anymore. If I didn't say it in the first chunk of the video, guys, if you find yourself enjoying this one, go ahead and click the like button, and let me know in the comments what you think we ought to get up to next. I've just cleared out some real space, and we need to get a, a real base built. Let me know what you think. Finished paint scheme. The only thing I'm not sure about, the only thing that's driving me a Yeah, I don't think I like that. Let's try, okay. Let's just try brown, because it might be a slightly, slight variation on the, the mud that's here already. But this color, that's a little bit better. I think that's going to work for us. So, uh, let's talk about it. It is red paint, region one, on every piece of wood. It is, oh, not every piece of wood. So the doors, these pillars, these pillars, and everything that's a part of this little railing here, or this part of the little balcony here, uh, got painted in uh, the dark, dark brown. Uh, that is mud. I did a little mud paint under here, and then all the stone roof bits got uh, tan. So that's tan across here, tan on this lower stone, tan on this thing, and tan up top on the roofs. Uh, so this place still needs windows. That would be an opportunity to add a little splash of light color. Maybe we get some tan in there on a window. I guess I just broke down my thing, so I don't know what that's supposed to look like. Let's go ahead here. Let's just do this real quick, and we'll craft ourselves up a window. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So we have uh, our color scheme as it stands now. Is it getting nighttime already? Why are all these torches turning on? I guess so. Okay, so region one painted this, left the wood unpainted. Now for the house, I could just do that. I could totally just do that. Man, these torches are really making me hot. Shut up, get out of here, stupids. All right, and then, are you joking? Taunting me, I tell ya. All right, let's go ahead and get, really? Are you joking? It's fine. <laughs> now let's try this real quick. Region 1. Let's see how that might look. Well, it's hard to tell with all this stupid torch light. Get out of here. I'm... S plus torches, I tell ya. <laughs> Shut up! Stop it! Alright, get demolished. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay, so there. What do we think of that? As a potential window. Either that or I could do glass. And the glass light might look really good. But either way, my sun is setting on me here. I'm lucky enough to have the 50% day, 50% night, and not a 1090 like we got during the live stream. And uh, I will come back uh, this episode, and I'm going to work on something else. I haven't figured out what. I need to build storage for all of these gifted creatures. And I need to clear this area out so I can refertilize my mushrooms, because that house is just floating over nothing. Anyway, guys, let me take a break. I will be back in your life. Is that it? In the first part of uh, my video, I took, uh, I think I walked people through some of the stuff I did to this uh, silo. Um, mm -hmm. And I walked them through kind of the paint job. And I looked at a green option and a red option. And eventually we, we painted this color, which is the one people saw in the thumbnail the other day. Um, and then you and I got together today for uh, the people who are watching. This is Dynamic D. Um, hey, you guys. And then we talked about what to do next, whether it's a bunch of small barns or a big barn. Um, and we, I think we ended up thinking Big Barn, which is what yeah. this is sort of the the, the preparation for. Um, so it is what what are we eight by fifteen something like that? 
it should be eight by fifteen, something like that. Yeah. And so th- this will be a multi-day, multi-episode project. But the plan for today is to get like a front on it. I'm looking back to when I did my elk barn back in the day, and episode one was the front, and then episode two was the rest of it. Once you get this, the the depth, the width, and the height figured out, um, the rest of the build goes fast. But we had to figure out the sort of foundation for it first, and then now the plan is to see uh, to build it up, and. Uh, uh, yeah, put a, put a sort of face on it, I guess, would be the next plan, right? Yeah, that would uh, look I'm gonna, better. I'm going to have to show people this, because I've always held off doing, if you come down to that little temporary structure I built. Um, oh, yeah, the roof, yeah. Yeah, so I've always held off doing a, uh, a barn build in the past, because um, I could never do this. I could never get the roof to look like that. Um, and the way that we did this, uh, so... If you look right here, this is a uh, ramp. And so the ramp will go go here. And it, I think, I don't know if that's an S plus thing or not. I don't know if you could do this exactly the same way in vanilla. Uh, I don't know if you would need, you might need like ceilings right here or something. But um, either way, uh, we were able to get this ramp in here. And then from this side, it doesn't look quite right. But from the front, it totally captures like that American barn roof feel, right? Oh, yeah. And, and so the idea was, uh, yeah, w- this is going to be sort of the front of the barn. And we did this four wide to start. I think the plan uh, as we moved over here was to go to six or to go to eight wide. And we have not built, tried to build a barn arch sort of uh, feel to it that's that, uh, that's that big. So I think that'll be our plan is to get up there and build that. We might need a little bit of uh, off-camera building. First, we'll figure out what to do with the front of this and then maybe put in some wooden ceilings so we have a bit of a... Um, uh, thing to work off of but then i think we can get to work on building um the face of the barn and seeing what seeing what we can make it look like and finding a shape for our roof i think, that, like a plan. I think that is the plan um yeah so uh four i think let, let's see what we got in terms of these uh, we should okay. have enough i mean they're, I've still they're... Been crafting forever so yes yes so yeah <laughs> shout out to dynamic d for for the prep um, it kind of puts us in the position to be able to build build big today. Yeah, man. Let me see. So I'm just putting in some walls here for now. Oh, and you know what I'm going to show people too uh, that's going to be useful is a gift uh, from you. Uh, there's a couple gifts in here. The trank uh, rifle, or the rifle and the trank darts as well. But the yeah. wingsuit is in here. So I've already had this on and been playing with it, but I took it off uh, so that we could get it for the start of the video um so if my if i have any skills nope (laughs) so uh in the in the sort of like um test design over there we ended up four wide with an overhang of one and the proportions kind of looked and felt right but we didn't figure out how tall the barn would end up being like how tall the actual uh non-sloped part of it would be uh so the side walls uh so for the big version we doubled the width to eight so I'm thinking we double the overhang to two so that the barn overhang would come out to here. Yeah, so you basically start here with your walls. Yeah, and so by removing that whole row of uh, – oh, uh, actually, no, uh, I would it would be right behind you like this. So that, yeah, no, I mean, but I mean like that width. So having like two foundations overhang. Yes, okay, yeah, 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 perfect. So the overhang would come out to here, something like that, and we'd have a big entrance on the front. So I think uh, step one is to start – putting in uh, these wood walls and I think we're going to figure out the entrance for the place uh, once we kind of have the shape figured out because we got to figure out how high like most importantly we're figuring out how high these walls are going to go right yeah Um, so at at least in the middle we're going to keep building them up very high (laughs) yeah this is a lot of wood this is a lot of wood yeah it is okay so I, I imagine that this is not tall enough yet right I really I need to take a step back. It's yeah, me too. too. High for me to really okay. Tell. Well, let me let me get the final ones in here. Okay. All right. So why don't I just just to see? I know we've we've placed these in. Oh, I'm out of range. Um. I kind of want to see what it would look like if we if we did go ahead and, and figure out uh, this part here. Give me a second. Yeah. 
So I think because we're we're doing eight by what is it now twelve? I don't know. I haven't counted the height. I think of it's like like nine high. Yeah, so it's an eight by nine in the middle. That it actually doesn't look tall enough for a barn, does it? I'm thinking I'm thinking like three more. Yeah. Going but... eight eight by twelve. Alright. These climbing picks are great for builders, man. That's better than a grappling hook. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean you did a lot of live streams with me seeing me fling around the map like that. Oh man, yeah. A goof. Mad, so, man. so here's what I'll do. I will I will give both uh, options here. So we will go one, two, four, and then on this side I'll go. Uh, yeah, wow. but but this style of barn it kind of has to be to to. Oh lord, kind of has to be to work right, like yeah. to to capture the look. So it looks weird now because it yeah because uh, the way I did it. But the question is if you just have to block out the left side with your hand, or block out the right side with your hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is how you yeah. do. This is how you do it. I think, I think no. you might have been right with the twelve high. Uh, the next step, the next step's an important one. The next step involves us, because uh, what it's going to get, it's going to get another sloped wall on top, right? Okay, because, I mean, whatever we have is getting another, basically another wall of height on top of it, right? Exactly. So that's why I'm thinking, you know, just go for the 11, because you know, if we do get that extra wall, it'll look, because that 12 will look way too high. I mean, that's, that's the thing. I'm thinking that 12 is going to look way too high then. It so might it'll be uh, essentially be thirteen high. I mean. Mhm. Mm All right, and let's build. All right. Yeah. Um. Whoops. I think that's right. I think. Yeah. I think that's it. Okay, so let me do... It, this is a little bit challenging, but if I do that... Oh, that works. Perfect. And then I can take all this down. I was say, I tried to shoot it from over here, but from way down here, but nope. Yeah, there's a range no, to these no things. Dice. Yeah, no dice on that one. Okay. So I'll put in one, two, and then I think I'll probably have to do a little... There we go. Yeah, having all the, the hot bar on my mouse changed everything building wise. I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay. So that gives us some of it, man. Okay, now the next step is the ramps, uh, vanilla ramps and slope grooves. Okay, so I think this is my height uh, that I want to be at. Um, boom. Yes, okay. I think that will do it for me. So let's try going all the way across with these. I think I should be able to reach everything from here without being too crazy. And then, so the real key to this, it's not going to look quite right um, until there's more to it. Like, you know how when I, I put this in initially, I had to start building around the sides before I was really happy with the look of it? Yeah. Um, it's it's It might be left today looking a little weird uh, because, uh, basically because the slopes are, hmm, uh, this is giving me a little bit of trouble, but because the slopes are... Uh, are going to give way to those ramps, and you'll be able to see that little bit of wall behind it. Yeah, not from the front. I mean, from the from the way that we're that we're going to be looking at it later, you probably won't see it really good. There we go. Yeah, this is annoying. Like that? Those are all lined up from your angle, eh? I was just moved around. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's all right, man. Uh, yeah, stress. no, those are lined up. Yeah. All right, and then so to convince, now I need to get the uh, the ramps in place. So I think to get the ramp in place, I'm going to need a ceiling. 
Um, and because we're, I, we'll, we'll see here, but I think a ceiling right here and right here is going to be the key to get the ramp to go where I want it to, at least to start. So, like that. And because the ramps are, ooh, that's not right. Uh, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna work through this earthquake, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's doing it, right? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, because the ramps are vanilla, I'm a little bit worried that this will not want to stay. Yeah. Nope. So you can create like a little triangle up in the top with ceilings. Mm-hmm. So just pull the ceilings uh, all the way across. Oh man, but that'll look weird. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. It'll like it'll it'll take the whole look of the barn and mm. like the whole thing is that the roof just seems to go seamlessly from one to the other. And if there's a line delineating exactly where you yeah. go from yeah, slope true. to ramp, how was I able to do it on this little barn there? Like on our test version? I don't know what I did. Um, what's here? Over like here. it doesn't have ceilings underneath, does it? Yeah. Or walls uh, at the joint between no. the slope and the. No, it doesn't. So is it that? But you made these. It's here. Okay, so there's. Um, let me. So it's a normal wooden ramp with an S plus wooden. Oh, they're both wooden ramps. What? What are? What? Well, one's not a ceiling. They're both wooden ramps. So you have the S plus wooden ramps, uh, wooden ramps up top, and the uh, the bottom one basically is the wooden ramp, just a normal uh, vanilla. Oh, that's oh. why they're not saying because because you're using ceilings. Oh, using slope slope roof. roof instead. Yeah, so you needed to make the ramps. So the uh, the kind of the key for. Um, the front of the build and um, if we are using the and i'm going to zoom out to show people if you're using the uh, s plus sloped roofs to go for this part directly over my head the peak of the uh, barn you're going to need a ceiling in this little corner here uh, in order for the vanilla uh, ramps to be uh, anchored but and this is what i did on the the small version over there was we used the uh the S plus ramps. So these are not necessarily going to snap uh, where I want them to to start. So let's go ahead. And before I do that, let's go ahead and put in a couple ceilings like this. And I think this will give us the snap point for the S plus ramp. And then I can probably do another one right under it, right? Yep. And that means I can take out this and this. And then if I drop down, is there... Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's one right underneath you. So. Boom. So if I do that, I'm quickly going to take these... Oh. <laughs> took the wrong one down but uh yeah. but yes i wanted to do that so that i make sure i'm not snapping uh to the ceiling but instead i'm snapping to the bottom of that ramp uh, so the vanilla one seems like it would snap right to the bottom like this and that's the angle right yeah that's it okay perfect and then the little bit of wood that's going to be sticking up out there on the edges we're going to use that to turn into a little sort of a, a decorative feature for this thing. But for now, I have uh, to take out these, which are the slope roofs, and I have to get back up top and do the combination. So that's a S plus ramp. This is a vanilla ramp. Um, and I think that's all, all, all we need to do for now. Okay. Like so. And then I guess to expand this out, I would have to carry on... Let's pick this up. So we got to take it out one more. So the technique will be this, okay? I'll put that ceiling there. I'm going to take back all this thatch stuff, like so. And then, uh, oops, I guess I wasn't totally done with that. But I can, always, uh, I can always come back. So place that first on the bottom. Then get the lower snap point for this. Then this should only have one snap point. And then from there, you should be able to hang the... Um, the S plus ramps off of. Okay, I'm going to get up to a higher height here. Okay, perfect. All right, and then from here, I can go one, two, one, two, and then hang these off of. So that's going to work, man. That overhang is going to be good. So, yeah, it's a little bit tricky, the, the back and forth of, of doing this. So take that. 
here, lower snap point, boom. Another, yeah, earthquake. another earthquake. Yeah, yeah. man, they're plentiful. Uh, so I got that off of there, that off of there. Okay, so for the front of this, I think I can take down most of this uh, little infrastructure I put in here. And I'm missing a couple of pieces. We're, we're nearly there. Uh, vanilla ramps? Yeah. I have three of them. Is that what I need? Yep. yep. That's exactly okay. what you need. So put one here, one here. And then I think I'll have to put another ceiling down here. Same thing here. And done. Okay. So let's back up and take a look at this because I think this is the, the shape that we wanted. And we just weren't sure if it, it would look good in a full-size form, you know what I mean? Like, uh, if you double the width and double the height and everything, if it's all gonna... If the proportions will still look right, right? Right. <laughs> okay, I'm up top of the house. Man, it's tall. I tell ya. Yeah, it is. It is big. But that's... I mean, that's kind of the shape it would need to be... That's, that's what you need for it to be in proportion now. I like the the look and feel of the four wide one. I think we should put this to use somewhere though. That little shape. Definitely. I think we should make like no, a little definitely. mini barn. Maybe to maybe to house all this stuff that Turkey brought over for you us. Can, uh, you can you can make a We need a shed. Uh, yeah, a shed. That's it. Make yeah. like a little shed. Cuz that put the meth put the meth lab in the shed. And I think either maybe three walls high under there, so five five total, yeah. and I think that would look yeah. pretty perfect. It's a very yeah. good look. So for the folks not sure how it's going to look up there with those ramps and the wood sticking out, this is my plan. I think the proportions are right. It's just big. It's just yeah, it's just big. I mean, we need it to be big to get all everything in there. Well, that's it, right? Like within a day or two, I'm going to glide over to our, our dinos here. Within a day or two, we had generous people donating uh, all these creatures. So we got two giant crabs, uh, got a spino, got a roll rat, got a stego, got a pack of ravagers, got an iguanodon, and got a rock drake somewhere. I can't remember where I parked that. Yeah, fruit, but, up there on top. But yeah, but we have we have a lot of stuff. And so the idea here was to get us started with a barn. I think... Um, in tomorrow's video, I'm going to work out a door for it, and I'm also going to start working out the sides. It's either going to be a two or three video build, um, but before we leave it for today, I think the most important thing, and it might take us a minute or two, is a, is a paint job. I don't know if you want to stick around for that. I know it's getting a little late in the Netherlands where you are, but my next yeah. plan is to slap a little red paint on this. I only have the one paint sprayer, so if you do want to leave that phase to me, I can go uh, <clears throat> go put in a little time so we have a bright, colorful thumbnail to look at. So I might take a little break, let you go, and I'll, I'll come back and spend a little time this evening trying to slap some red paint on that thing, if that works. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah? Cool. Well, Dynamic yeah. D, my friend, thank you. Look at all this all this prep. We've managed this, and that is a few hours of work my afternoon, your evening, and we, we are on our way to a gigantic American-style barn. It's going to be cool. Ooh, baby, I love how this looks, guys. That is the beginning of something. Um, I just want to do a quick shout-out for Dynamic D. Link in the description for Pego Studios. That's the channel he does with a couple of the other guys from this Geeks Patreon community. And if, here on the Patreon Aberration server, we are going to build big, amazing things, Dynamic D will be a part of it. I love to build and hate to gather. He's kind of the other way around, so we make an excellent team. So guys, that's it. I am going to leave you here and uh, later today and in the next episode, I'm going to get to work on the rest of this barn. Uh, so for next episode, and let's go ahead and pull up, pull this up. What I want to do is carve out a little maybe 4x4 four four entrance on the front, maybe 3x4, we'll see. And I'll carve out a little hole up at the top, sort of a hay mow. And then we will begin getting to work on the sides. I showed it off. There we go, very briefly. But uh, I am going to take this concept from this sort of mini shed. Uh, roof and work out some gables on the side uh, and I'm going to figure out how this barn is going to look 
All right, guys, popping up on your screen right now is a link from my entire Aberration playlist and a link to another barn I did back in the day, a massive elk barn built with a little adobe and wood, one of my favorite builds, and definitely had some inspiration when we were putting this one together. So go check that out. Click on my ginger face to subscribe. And if you want to join a little community like this one, think about checking out the Patreon. But that does it, guys. I will see you in the next episode of Geek's Aberration.